Hi, this is Marty and uh, welcome back for another video. All right, okay, so this one's a big deal, all right? So this is another episode of INFJ Fakes. It's episode two. Uh, that word is a little strong for this video because of, well, because I'm talking about Frank James. So I'm gonna start and end. And in the middle, obviously get to the details. First, the only reason why Frank James is in this video or any of my videos is because of William Garrison, the video that he commented on, and the fact that in the comments or below, you can see the thread, and what I said to him, and I have him here. I'm not gonna read what I said back on my third one, but you can read it for its entirety. Okay, um, it's the fact that the video that William Garrison commented on, and it's uh, in the fact that he referenced Frank, James, Frank James's video on the difference between INFJ and ENFJ. So, Again, if you just watched my other video, you know that every video has substance, so it's not all it's not all hate. There's substance in every video. You just have to find it. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so here's what happened. Uh, if you have not seen the video that I did on opiates, uh, it's two and a half hours long. Uh, well, I did it, so I think it's worthy of it. But fast forward look at it in pieces, but to comment on that video like William Garrison did, and then to reference Frank James on INFJ, ENFJ differences, well, totally not cool. So let me read what he said. William Garrison, two weeks ago, after I posted the video on the opiates, he said to me, sounds to me like you are more of an ENFJ fulfilling your desire for attention on YouTube. Then he went out of his way to comment again, which is where he brought up the video for Frank James. If he hadn't have done that, this would not be happening. None of this video would be happening. So my advice to Frank James is, oh, and I know he watches me. I know he does. My advice to Frank James is, go to this user and ban him. Just saying, okay. So, um, all right, I wanna say this first. Um, I have seen uh, uh, half of this video. Um, I stopped it at the second ad or the first ad where he says, uh, let's see if YouTube wants to say something or other. It was like in that period of time I stopped. I watched like a third of it or whatever, right? Okay. Frank James is very good at what he does. He's creative. He is very successful. He is very entertaining. He is a good looking young man. He has a lot on the ball. I think he will be extremely su successful in whatever he does. He has uh, charisma. He has uh, everything that it takes to be extremely successful, not only in life, but in, but in and on YouTube. Okay, all right. What Frank James discusses in this video is the difference between the dominant function of the INFJ being introverted intuition and the ENFJ being extroverted feeling. He makes a very good example of what the INFJ does during a movie and the ENFJ does uh, during a movie. And basically, in a nutshell, this is it. If you are an ENFJ, you are more concerned and are concerned per Frank James and what he says in his video, you go watch it, links down below, you are concerned with the individual characters and will be outspoken during the movie about the individual characters, not only with the movie as you discuss it out loud, but also with everybody around you. That's what the ENFJ will be doing. The INFJ will be completely silent 
not caring about the characters and basically in taking in the entire movie, nothing in particular, but only the movie itself, taking that data in and then through its introverted intuition, forming its own solution to figuring out what the end result plot or is of the movie. The ENFJ will be stuck at each character and each moment's interaction between the characters of the movie and how they interact with each other because it's extroverted feeling, completely different. As far as I'm concerned, Frank James knocks it out of the park. In fact, I could not do that, that video that Frank James does. Two movie examples. Usual Suspects and The Departed. In the, us in, in the Usual Suspects, the entire movie, I could give a shit about the characters. I was trying to figure out who the fuck is Kaiser Sose. Yes, I figured out who it was midway through. In The Departed, what I couldn't figure out was, and I knew this halfway, maybe three quarters, because that was a good one. Okay, Leonardo DiCaprio, The Departed, Mark Wahlberg, it was awesome. You see, where the movie made the mistake was making, in, the, in, the, in about halfway through, three quarters of the way through, you're, you're trying to figure out who's the rat. And your, all of your attention is on Leonardo DiCaprio. But if you view it from back and do not look at any characters, and I mean any specific characters, and you look at all of them in a group and don't analyze any of them, you see that they are all fucking dirty. All of them are fucking dirty. The only way you would understand that they're all fucking dirty is if you stepped back and never looked at any one character. Now, if that's not good enough for you, William Garrison, and just wait for it, because if you read the comment below, I said you were going to pay for this. And so was Frank James, because it was, it was the video that you commented on. You commented on in the opiate video. Life or death. You did not understand the seriousness of basically what you were watching. My guess is you're under the age of 25 and very young in the head. Then you went out of your way to school me by your mentor. And believe me, I think Frank James is a great mentor. I'm not kidding. I have nothing but respect for that individual and what he does. But that's not what we're discussing in this video, is it? On Super Bowl Sunday, and I'm going to show you the text. Okay, let's just show it to you now. Here's the text that I sent. Okay. Got it? On Super Bowl Sunday, uh, I don't have my glasses on, at the end of the first quarter, it was the Bucks 7, Kansas City 3. That was at 7.16 Eastern Standard Time. That is 4.16 Pacific Standard Time. I'm on the West Coast. I texted at 4.24. Yes, 4.24. I'm trying to get the parentheses. Um, 4.24 to my friend and said, the game is over. How did I make that determination? And why at 424 did I say that? 
If you watched the game and did not watch anything in particular, the game on the field had an emotion. It had a feeling. It had an aura about it. And something wasn't right. If you looked at the eyes of the Kansas City quarterback, you knew something was wrong. Notice I said nothing about the individual characteristics of any player. At 424, I texted my friend that the game is over. That was after the first quarter, going into the second quarter, when I was standing next to my sister and I said, after it was 7-3 to three and the first quarter ended, I said to her, the next time Kansas City touches the ball, if they do not score, the game is over. That was at 424. At 6 p.m., that is, what, 6, 7, 8, 9, Eastern Time. I texted him again and said, you heard it here first, reminding him when I told him the game was over. And I think the score at that time was 28 to 6 or 9 or something like that. Then at 7.49 p.m., I texted my third text. And here it is. You heard it here first. The quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs will not, in my opinion, recover from that loss. Notice, I am not talking about any ability, any speed, any experience, any Super Bowl rings, nothing. It is 100% introverted intuition. This is 100% introverted intuition. Now, let's get back to INFJ fakes. Frank James is 100% not an INFJ. And proof that he is not an INFJ. And if William Garrison, you are claiming INFJ, neither are you. Because an INFJ would never, and I repeat, never send that first text. And absolutely would never reference someone else's information. What is the information that tells you that Frank James is 100% not an INFJ? It's right in front of you. I mean, it's fucking, it's a train hitting you in the face. Frank James runs his YouTube channel like a business that is extroverted. I've been doing this for a year and I can't turn it around and make a dime off of it. That's the introverted, that's the INFJ. Frank James knows for a fact, 100% fact, that he cannot type someone over the phone. That consulting over the phone and asking people questions and charging money and giving someone his opinion for their MBI type cannot be done. It's impossible. An INFJ could never, and I mean never, sleep at night knowing that. Period. It just 
goes against the very breaths that an INFJ, an INFJ takes every day. It's impossible. One and done. So let me help the entire world and the entire YouTube community. Stop bashing Frank James. Stop wondering what the fuck he is or is not and appreciate his charisma, his success, his character, his entertainment, his knowledge of MBTI as it pertains to what he does and what he believes in, and everything else he does on a daily basis because that guy works his fucking ass off. And it doesn't matter what MBTI type he is, he is someone to look up to. He is someone to tune into. He is someone to subscribe to. He is a positive contribution to not only YouTube, but to society. You, William Gar Garrison, are a fucktard. For you to do what you did to that to me on that opiate video and think that I need attention? Oh my God. Look at me. Do you not think I don't get enough attention? Oh, and by the way, two comments that I've seen. My ego is equal to every time you call me out on my ego you are calling me out on my self-esteem Thank you very much for noticing because the pain and suffering that I have been through that spans 30 plus years to heal my inner child and to be the man I am today, you have no idea. So thank you very much for noticing my ego, and my self-esteem. I pray and I hope that you one day will also have the same ego and the same self-esteem as I do and feel what it truly feels like to be happy inside, to truly be happy in singularity, in one being. So, uh, this is Marty. We'll see you in the next video.